Which you guys got another video here for you. Five best registry hacks for Windows 11. These are essential hacks that you should know for the registry. So first off, enabling the photo viewer. If you have Windows 11, you'll know that you're forced to use the photo app. But a lot of people prefer the older photo viewer, which was less bloat and a lot easier to use. So if you are sick and tired of using this particular photo app and you want the old photo viewer back, I'll show you how to quickly enable this with a quick registry hack. So let's first go with the photo viewer first. So I've got a text document here with load of code in it. This is for a registry edit that needs to be done in the registry. I'm not going to do all these by hand, so I'm going to save this, file save, and you can see it's a text document. We need to do all files and give it a name. We're going to call this Windows Photo Viewer. You can put a dash in there so there's no spaces, just like so, and you can uh, call yours whatever you like, but something more recognizable to yourself. Once that's done, we need to give it an extension, and that's going to be .reg, .reg. Uh, so we're going to do that there and we can then save this to our desktop and we can quickly enable this feature by double clicking on it. So let's go ahead and you can see here, we've got the registry file now on the desktop. So let's go ahead and double click on this one here. It's gonna ask us to make some changes to our registry. We're gonna add these keys in, say okay, and it's now done. So let's quickly uh, view this uh, image here, right click on it and go open with, and you can now see that we do have the Windows Photo Viewer right here and we can now view our images in the old Windows Photo Viewer, which I prefer myself. That's how you can add it to Windows 11. Now, before we do any more, let's have a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for a cheap Windows 10 or cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM key, then check out the links in the video description. All you need to do is click on those, create an account and use my promo code, capital B, capital R, 09, and apply these to your order and you will get a 30% discount on all of your purchases. Once you've done that, you can submit your order, use PayPal to pay for your purchase. They will then send you your key and you can then go ahead and activate your version of Windows 10 Pro or Windows 11 Pro. Links are in the video description. Next up, we're gonna add any program to the Windows 11 right-click context menu. So for instance, if you want to add any sort of programs that you use on your right-click context menu, you can just add them by adding them inside the registry edit here. So we're going to go to this location on the uh, registry here. So we're going to go up to uh, computer and then H key classes root, come down until we see the next location, which we're looking for, which is this one here, directory, and open this up. And you should now see background inside here, open that up there. And what we're looking for is this one called shell. So open this up. And from here, we need to add a key. So right click on the shell folder and go new key. And then you can give this a name of the program that you want to use. We'll use notepad here because it's pretty quick and easy to do. So type notepad inside here. Now inside the notepad folder, click on it. And what we need to do is right click and add a new key to the notepad folder. So let's go ahead and do that right now. New key. And then call this command. So just highlight this. For some reason, my keyboard is not uh, connecting here properly. There we go. And now we've done that, what we're going to do here is we're going to put inside here the actual path of a program that we want inside the command folder. So we're going to navigate to the location of the notepad file. So that's inside the Windows directory. So let's open up the Explorer here. Go to this PC, our C drive, and then go to Windows. Inside here, we're looking for Notepad, and there it is right there. So once you've located your program that you're using, we're using Notepad for this example, but you can use any program. I'm going to right click on it and then copy as path. So once we've done this, we're going to go back to our registry, click on the default key here and paste in our path right here. Click OK, and this will then add the notepad to our right click context menu. And this can be for any program. There you go, right there. Right click, and you can see notepad is right here. If I click on this, it'll open up notepad. Very quick and easy to do. Next up, we're going to disable the Bing search from the search menu. If you don't want the Bing search here, because who searches for stuff on the uh, start menu here? I don't know who uses this. And if you want to get rid of it, then I'll show you how to do it. Let's first uh, reset our 
registry back here to its default position. There we go. And what we're going to do is I'll show you exactly how to do this. So go to computer and then we're going to go to HK current user, open this up here and then come down to where it says software. Click on the drop down arrow. There we go. And then go to policies, open this up, then go to Microsoft. Pull that open and then we go to Windows. Drop that open there. Let me just expand this a little bit here so you can see a bit more. And I'll show you what this actual tweak does. So basically, when you open up your start menu in the search area, so if I click on search here, you'll have all of these images and search files for the web. And if you don't want them there, you can remove them and I'll show you how to do it. So this is it right here on the search. So inside your Windows folder here, we're going to need to create a new key. So let's zoom in and do this the right way. So we're going to right click on the Windows folder and create a new key. So let's go ahead and do that. New key. And there we go. And all we need to do here is give it a name. And we're going to call this Explorer. Keyboard has gone again for some reason. I'm not sure what's happening here. There we go. It's back again. So once we've got Explorer in here, we can now go for our next bit, which is on the right hand pane. We're going to need to create a new D Word 32 bit value. So click new. D word 32 bit value and now we need to give it a name so let's go ahead and give it a name we're going to call this disable search box suggestions so we need to type that in exactly as it is with the capitals and no spaces there so type that in like so and once we've done this we can give this a value of one and this will then disable uh, that particular feature here now of course if you're on the windows 11 pro or Windows 10 Pro, you can do a lot of this stuff inside the group policy editor. So let's go ahead and click OK here, and that's now disabled that feature. Now you probably will need to start the Windows Explorer window or restart your PC. Let's quickly go ahead. You can see it's still there, but when we restart the PC, but I'm going to go to Task Manager here and quickly uh, restart the Windows Explorer. So let's go ahead, right click on this. And there we go, that's now done. And that should now uh, set that in stone. There we go, all done. So that's now all removed. And that's basically how you can remove all those annoying uh, links inside there. Next, we're going to get the old right click context menu back. If you don't like the new context menu, you can do this quick registry hack to try to bring back the old right click context menu. So starting from your registry editor, what you're going to need to do here is you're going to go to H key current user, then software, open that up there. And then we're going to come down to where it says classes. Inside the classes folder, you need to look for CLSID. So let's go ahead and open that one up there. And now there's a particular folder that we need to look for inside here. And it's this one I'm showing you up on the screen right now. Once we're inside this folder here, we need to create a new folder in this folder here it has to be this folder otherwise it won't work so what we need to do is right click go new key and you need to give this a name what you can see what i'm typing out here is seen called in proc and then we need to do server 32 just like so and once you've done that you need to go to the right hand pane and on the right hand pane, you'll see a default key and just put a little dash inside here. Now I tried it with no, uh, no item inside the value data and it didn't work. So you just want one little dash, click OK, and it should work. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the actual uh, right click context menu. And we should now see that we do have the right click context menu back to the default one that was there before. So that's now done. Let's move on to the final one, which is stopping automatic updates on Windows 11. This is a useful one if you don't want Windows updates coming down and automatically installing on your system. It will give you a download and install button under each update that comes down to give you the choice whether you want to install them right away or not. So this is a really good option. So first off, let's go to HK local machine, software, policies, then inside Microsoft here, 
we need to go into Windows. Inside Windows, open this up and you need to create two folders. One of them's called uh, Windows Updates and the other one's called AE. So let's go ahead and right click on it and make two new uh, folders inside this location. So right click on the Windows, click on New and then go Key and call this Windows Update. Capital W and capital U. Make sure they're joined like so. And now inside the Windows Update folder, right click, go New, Key, and then call this AU in capitals, just like so. And once you've done that, we can move over to the right hand pane. So on the right hand pane here, so right click, New D Word 32 bit value key. There we go. Give it a name, I'm going to call it no auto update. Once we've done this, we can give this a value of one. So let's quickly do this. Then double click on the actual key and we're going to give it a value of one. There we go. So just change that. Click OK. Restart your PC. If you've got any outstanding updates, you will need to do those. And then after that update, it will give you the install and download instead of um the actual automatic install of all of your updates this is great if you don't want to get hit with some sort of botched or broken uh update from microsoft and it'll give you the option to install it when you're ready rather than being forced to install it uh, as an automatic update so let me show you what it looks like right here when you go into the updates section you should see download and install it's given us a download and install for this update now. So we'd rather than having it automatically downloaded and installed on our system, it gives us a bit more control uh, over the updates. And I think this is a really good uh, actual practice to do on all your systems. Anyway, I think that is gonna be about it. So that is five best registry hacks for Windows 11. I've got plenty more of these. If you wanna see more of these, let me know in the comments section below. I'd be happy to make more of these videos for you. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support. Have a lovely weekend and I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server. Bye for now.